To thee we come, O Lord our God. sisters, let us confess our sins to God and prepare ourselves that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. And now please make an examination of conscience. Having confessed our sins to God and asking for forgiveness, I ask that you please recite with me the second act of confession. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault, I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us. Forgive us of our sins and bring us unto life everlasting. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, you will again renew us. And you will renew us in you. Show us your mercy, Lord. And bring us from salvation. Lord, hear our prayer. The Lord be with you. Let us pray, take our sins away from us, Lord, that we may enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am well pleased. Upon whom I have put my spirit, he shall bring forth justice to the nations. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and as it shall be, for all that I am. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory. To who God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. 
For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Please be seated. Let us pray. All-powerful Father, you sent your Spirit to confirm the mission of your Son at his baptism. Send your Holy Spirit upon us that we may be strengthened in our faith and that we may find joy in serving you and each other. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Let us pray. Merciful Father, as we observe the anniversary of the passing of our sisters, Mary Durkee and Wanda Korber, into her, their eternal rest, we ask for your grace and your blessing. Accept them into your eternal kingdom and bring us the consolation of always trusting in your care. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Vincent, would you please proclaim the word? prophet Isaiah, the Lord said to me, you are my servant Israel, to whom I show my glory. Now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as a servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him, and Israel may be And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. Yeah, exactly. It is too little, the Lord says, for you to be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light of the nations that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. This is the word of the Lord. The gradual. Thus says the Lord, in a time of favor, I will answer you. On the day of salvation, I will help you to restore the land and allot the desolate heritages. Saying to the prisoners, come out, to those in darkness, show yourselves. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. <coughs> Paul, called to be an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Sosthenes, our brother, to the church of God that is in Corinth, to you who have been sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be holy, with all those everywhere who call upon the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, their Lord and ours, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, you are all. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your gospel, holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. John the Baptist saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. He is the one of whom I said, A man is coming after me who ranks ahead of me, because he existed before me. I did not know him, but the reason why I came baptizing with water was that he might be made known to Israel. John testified further, saying, I saw the Spirit come down like a dove from heaven and remained upon him. I did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, On whomever you see the Spirit come down and remain, he is the one who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Now I have seen and testified that he is the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised by all of us now and forevermore. Amen. In the avenge of Apollonius Christus. Amen. Paul, called to be an apostle of Christ Jesus, words are taken my brothers and sisters, from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. To you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I think we have all come to a time in our lives that we realize that things do not happen accidentally. If you believe in God, then you also have to believe that there was and that there is a divine plan for each and every single one of us. Just as Jesus, at age 30, came unto John at the River Jordan to be baptized, it was at that time that he began his public ministry. We will read in the coming weeks of Jesus being in the wilderness to be tempted, but yet to be strengthened in his mission. Paul, who established the church in Corinth in approximately 50 AD, addresses the church and its people and he says to them, You have been sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be holy. These words are very similar to some of the other churches of how St. Paul began his introduction. But he also said, Upon grace, you have received this sanctification 
in which you have been made holy. You know, I think about the baptism of Jesus when he approached John. John gave testimony found in today's gospel. When he first saw Jesus, he said, Behold the Lamb of God. And so what was the mission of Jesus? We are told in the Gospel of Luke that he came to save those who were lost. I think we all fool ourselves thinking that we can make it without God. God who has given us life, God who has given us and made us in the image and likeness of him. We, as being humans, are unlike any other of God's creation. For it is only in man's mind that he begins to have the questions, is there a God? And if there is a God, then why did God put me here? We need to turn to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to understand that it was his mission to heal and to teach and to proclaim the good news unto all people. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Maybe in that statement, John realized another part of the mission of Jesus. For John received the revelation from God, and he was sent by God for a mission, to be the forerunner, to be the one who would be preparing the way of the Lord. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Another mission of Jesus was that he came into the world through the love of the Father to save and to forgive sins. And how did Jesus fulfill this? At the center of our altar, above the tabernacle, we get that answer. Jesus knew right from the very beginning when he began his public ministry that the clock was ticking and that he had a ministry for approximately three years. But he knew that his mission was to be fulfilled when he offered himself upon the cross to die for your sins, to die for my sins. John gives testimony. There are two times in today's gospel where John declares, I did not know him. Now, in the land of where Jesus and John were, there were a lot of of area, of wilderness. John went into the wilderness to define his purpose, and he sought God in prayer. When Jesus came to be baptized, John says, why are you coming to me? I should be baptized by you. And what was Jesus' answer? Let all righteousness be fulfilled. Jesus had that mission to come and to teach and to heal and then offer himself for the sins of man. John, who was to be the one who was to testify, he said, I didn't know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water, told me, on whomever you see the Spirit come down and remain, he is the one who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, 
each and every single one of you were presented to God on the day that you were baptized. And later after learning more of the faith, you receive the sacrament of confirmation in which the prayers that are offered by the church that you would be fulfilled and filled with the Holy Spirit. In our church, we believe that confirmation is the completion of baptism. So you have all the tools in the end, we are called in our own missions to seek the Lord. Throughout all of Holy Scripture, those people who God used sought the Lord. And so, do we have a mission? Yes. To proclaim Jesus Christ in our lives? and to tell others about Jesus Christ and what he has done for you, how he has touched you, how he has forgiven you, and how he has delivered you into a new person. And so, may you be sanctified as Paul prayed for the people at Corinth and his other churches. May you be made holy in seeking the Lord in your lives. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and through the power of the Holy Spirit, may you ever be drawn closer every day to understanding your mission of loving God and loving your fellow man. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised now and forevermore. Amen. Yek bencha popoloni Jesus Christus, na veki veku famen. I be he leaven, wahon God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, begotten begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. Through his suffering, my servant shall justify many, and their guilt he shall bear. Please be seated.
song of thanksgiving and telling all your wondrous deeds. O Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Sweep me not away with sinners, nor my life with bloodthirsty men, men in whose hands are evil devices and whose right hands are full of bribes. But as for me, I walk in my integrity, redeeming be gracious to me. My foot stands on level ground in the great congregation. I will bless the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Receive this offering, most holy trinity, which we make in the memory and in remembrance of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, that it may add to their honor and aid our salvation. May they whose memories we honor on earth intercede for us in heaven. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God, our Heavenly Father. Let us pray, Lord our God, receive this our offering and enlighten us that we may strive for a just and orderly society. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty Father, accept these gifts which we offer to you in faith and trust. May the offering unite us with your Son's offering on the cross, which brings us eternal life. Receive our prayers this day, O Lord, for the repose of the souls of our late departed sisters, for Mary Durkee and Wanda Corber. We ask all of this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. For forever and ever. Amen. The whole Lord be with you. To the Lord our God. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Announcing the coming of your kingdom, Christ called his disciples and began his sacred ministry. Empowered by your grace and strength, may we all faithfully fulfill the mission and ministry you have entrusted in our care. And so therefore on this day, we join with the voices of the angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please be seated. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices, which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests especially Anthony, our prime bishop, and Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true Orthodox and Catholic faith, which comes to us from the apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord. Brothers and sisters, 
In our prayers, let us remember the sick, the suffering and the dying, the hungry and the homeless. Let us pray for all those who are suffering from the coronavirus and pray for not only them, but for their families as well. May we give God our thanks for the blessings of doctors, nurses, first responders, and all healthcare workers. In our most humble prayers, let us pray and remember all abused and neglected children in our world, as well as all abused and neglected animals and all victims of violence, both here and abroad. May we all pray for peace, especially for the people of Ukraine and other areas in our world where people are seeking freedom and a democratic life. Let us give God our thanks for the blessings of all those who serve in our armed forces and pray that Almighty God may watch over all of them through his holy angels and return them safe and sound to their families. And may we also remember all who are present here, their loved ones, whose faith and devotion are known to you, O Lord, and for whom we offer or who offer up to you the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for their hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God. We join in communion with and honor above all others the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ, also your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering of that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and count among the flock of your chosen people, through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering and make it pleasing unto yourself, so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful, and save them, he instituted these holy mysteries in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment, so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread, into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven, to you, God, his almighty Father, and giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. like manner after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks to you, he blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. <laughs> Therefore, 
in the remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, and his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you a holy sacrifice in immaculate host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty, that we who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember our sisters for whom we pray, for Mary Durkee and for Wanda Korber, who have gone before us with a sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. To their souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant, we pray, a place of refreshment, light, and peace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, and all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy, and with lives patterned after their divine master, merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. By whom you always create sanctify, revive, bless, and give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him. All honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, in the unity with the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever, let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching and following the divine example, we say with confidence, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Please be seated. Deliver us, Lord, from all evils, past, present, and future, and by the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mother of God, Mary, together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, also Andrew, and all the saints, grant us peace in our day. Supported by the help of your mercy, may we always be free from sin and secure from all disturbance. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity with the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. May 
May this commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us to receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free us from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us faithful to your teaching and never let us be parted from you, who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for our judgment or condemnation. Though we are unworthy to receive this great sacrament through your loving kindness, may become our safeguard and healing remedy. Our saving master awaken in all of us, living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make us your willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant us who lives and reigns with God the Father, in the unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. I will take the bread of heaven, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. What shall I return unto the Lord? For all the graces he hath rendered unto me, I will take the chalice of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon him, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Lord, I am not worthy to speak the word of the Lord, and my soul shall be healed. Receive the body and the blood of Christ.
I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, make straight the way of the Lord. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have chosen to restore all things in your beloved Son. Grant that through the reception of this Eucharist, we may submit to the gentle yoke of his most loving rule. We ask this through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, through this Holy Eucharist we have been united with our Lord Jesus, who rose from the dead. Receive the prayers we offer to you this day for the repose of the souls of our late departed sisters, Mary Durkee and Wanda Korber, whose anniversary of death we honor, so that they may be joined with you in the new Jerusalem. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Go, the sacrifice is offered. May the tribute of our worship be pleasing to you, most holy Trinity. Grant that the sacrifice which we, the one worthy, have offered up into the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you through your mercy, may be effective for ourselves and all those for whom we have offered it. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning. Through him all things came into being, and apart from him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in him found the life. Life for the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness, a darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John sent by God who came as a witness to testify to the light, so that through him all might believe, but only to testify to the light, for he himself was not the light. The real light which gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and through him the world was made, yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. Any who did accept him, he empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name, who were begotten not by blood, nor by cardinal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God. The Word became flesh, and made his dwelling among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of an only Son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them their trespasses against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And for the repose of the souls of our departed loved ones, 
as well as today for the repose of the souls of Mary Durkee and Wanda Corber. Eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. May they all rest in peace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.